With the Raimi suit now out for everyone in Marvel Spider-Man, you almost forget that we also get three new suits in the Silver Lining DLC that I just finished. And ooh, I gotta say, you are in for a real treat. We'll give my spoiler-free impressions in this video and of course showcase the three new suits and also highlight many Raimi suit pictures that you sent me, so let's get into it. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. The first DLC suit you unlock in the Silver Lining is the Air Aaron Eggman armor suit that I like more than I thought and that is mostly because it has a lot of tiny details that I noticed in every new cutscene that I got with this suit. And I love the neck as well, it's kind of robotic and completely different from most of the other suits in the game. So it's another armor suit but I totally think it deserves its spot in the suit list because apart from the name there's really nothing like it. So I'm really impressed with this suit. My favorite of the three DLC suits is by far the Cyber. Spider-Man suit though that you get for completing the Silver Lining story because it's really like nothing else we've seen in the game so far of course thanks to the awesome robotic arm with some attributes on there we have the cool shoulder what I also really like is this sort of bandana and that this suit has been torn apart like we see a lot of stitches so yeah Spider-Man has been in a rough fight and we also of course have the cool eye patch that continues to shine really really cool and then the final suit you get that one for completing all the districts with all the crimes the bases the screwball challenges etc in the silver lining dlc and that is the spider verse suit of course inspired by the movie that is currently in the cinemas and i still got to watch it I know, I really want to, but it's actually pretty hard to find a decent time here in the Netherlands. Just a few cinemas are actually showing the movie and really at insane hours, like that you sit in the cinema till 2 a.m. It's pretty insane. So until that, until I figure that out, we can swing around in this suit. And a big shout out to Woof Bandits for the footage of this one. So I could get this video faster to you with footage of all the new suits. I do have to say that it's actually my least favorite of the three. Because it just feels like a more beefed up version of the classic suit. And that's not really a problem. But I do like it when the suits add a completely different look to our hero. While this one is just pretty limited. Maybe after seeing the movie I grow more attached to this suit but right now I will just swing around in the Raimi and the Cyborg suit. Although again I like the Aaron Eggman suit more than I thought because I started out of course with the Raimi suit and then halfway through the DLC I kind of switched to this Aaron Eggman suit and like kept it on longer than I anticipated through the amazing cutscenes that this chapter will throw at you. This is by far the best chapter of the City That Never Sleeps season pass thanks to the amazing writing like some of the most funny cutscenes are in this one. You will laugh. I even got like emotional a little bit at the end. Silver Sable is of course back and the chemistry between the two is just amazing. We got many new gameplay twists, Insomniac throws at you. Something we saw in the heist as well with fighting alongside Black Cat. Where you could give her commands as well and stuff like that. Something that was really lacking in the Turf Wars DLC in my opinion. Where we just had to fight an endless amount of enemies without the fun interactions that I really grew to love about this game. They changed up the crimes so they are more exciting just like the screwball challenges. We visit awesome locations, there are some cool Cool surprises there and after playing this we do get a little bit of a sense of where we might go with the inevitable sequel like where the characters will be at the end of this expansion is likely where we will start with the next game you would think but really after playing silver lining i grew to love the spider-man universe from insomniac like even more and it's kind of sad that it's likely over for now but I'm also really excited for them to go back into the shadows and then blow our socks off when they return. I really can't wait for that. So good times for sure. Enjoy playing. I hope everyone gets to play it at midnight. So when it's December 21st in your country. But it might be a little bit later as we saw with the previous expansions as well. Although you would think because it's Friday, not a typical PlayStation Store update day, that it will appear at midnight. So I hope everyone gets to play as soon as possible. This of course is part of the City That Never Sleeps season pass but you can also buy the chapters separately but yeah i really think you want to get the full story so totally if you enjoyed marvel spider-man these dlc packs are really really good like totally check them out subscribe for way more marvel spider-man ps4 videos like this video to support channel check out my video on the big update 1.13 where i go in depth on all the new features including the raimi suit a new difficulty and more and now let's take a look at some raimi suit love you send my way via twitter at your raptor with the spider raptor hashtag or via instagram your raptor 
follow me there and then share your shots. For the next video, I think it will be cool to see some silver lining shots like the suit does not really matter, maybe one of the new suits of course, but I think it will be cool to see some of the new filters and stickers as well. Like Mark does with this movie shot from the Raimi trilogy, like it could be right, it looks so good. This could also have been the card in Somniac Sense as all as a happy holidays, enjoy the Raimi suit gesture. Really cool one, Mark. We got Justin with a really cool focus on the awesome looking suit. Thanks to the great use of the focus distance and the aperture. I really like this one. Multi Miles is at it again. This time with a web crawling Raimi suit shot where the sun shines perfectly on the suit. Showcasing us the materials as well. Man, what a cool suit. Brody's shot shows it as well with the black background. So we get a good look at Insomniac's version. And trust me, using this suit in some of the cutscenes of the Silver Lining DLC is really, really satisfying. Of course, Spider-Man goes to work in the suit as well as we see in this action shot from Francisco with the grunt falling off the roof as Spider-Man tries to web him. This shot gives us a cool look at the side of the Raimi suit. So really, really nice indeed. Yes, the Raimi suit is in the spotlight today just like we see literally in the shot from Leroy it's cool to see some light on this suit and I still really can't believe that it's in the game right now again follow me on Twitter at your Raptor or Instagram your Raptor share more of your creations and I will highlight the best one in a future video subscribe for way more spider-man ps4 stuff I saw something interesting regarding secret changes in the new update so I want to touch on that if you find something interesting with update 1.13 that they changed, you can of course let me know here in the comments of this video or via Twitter and Instagram as well. Like this video to support the channel, have fun with the DLC when it's out, and I will of course speak to you next time. Goodbye!